Hi, I'm Tony Fidang, Corporate Executive Chef for Gelson's. Today, I want to show you one of our featured holiday meals, a delicious roasted turkey dinner for eight. I will also show you how to wow your guests by giving you quick expert tips on how to carve the turkey and then how to properly plate it as a complete meal. Now, what you see here is a meal that serves eight, but we also have meals that serve two and 12. Our dinners are available for purchase on our website at gelsons.com slash holiday meals or in store at our kitchen. Now let's get started. The star of our dinner is a whole roasted turkey, which I will demonstrate how to carve expertly. Now our turkeys already come pre-cooked. I've already reheated this turkey and now I'll show you how to break it down. So first we will start with uh, the drum and the thigh. And what you want to do is just cut it along the rib cage here and then you will find the joint and it'll naturally want to separate. So once you see where it separates, go ahead and slice along the tail here. And then as you can see, very easily came right off of the joint there and I'll set it here. We'll go ahead and leave this uh, hole so the thigh and the drum together um, and um, plate it later. I'll do the same with the other side. And don't worry if you miss the joint. Um, once you kind of pull the meat away, you'll see where the joint is and then you can go ahead and cut right along there and it will separate for you. All right, perfect. Now this one will actually separate the thigh and the drum. So same thing, locate where the joint is. And on this, you can see it right there. Let's go ahead and separate it and then slice along the joint. And now you have a separated drum and thigh. We'll go ahead and reserve that here. Uh, the next thing we'll do is remove the wings. And the easiest way to do that is to go ahead and pull it away from the joint. And it's similar to the the thigh, you want to feel for it, and then go ahead and cut along the joint there. Okay. And like I said, don't worry if you miss it the first time. The more you cut into it, you can see where the joint is and you can go ahead and separate it. So, okay. I'll go ahead and reserve that here. And we'll do the same thing with the other side. So now we've got our wings, our um, quarter section with our drum and thigh, and our separated drum and thigh here. And now for the last part, I'm gonna separate the, the white meat, which is your turkey breast. And what you wanna do is just feel alongside the rib cage of the turkey. And it should just come right off for you. And you want to take special care to try to keep this whole so that when we slice it later, it looks nice on your plate. And once we're done here, this is going to look so beautiful on the plate. And you won't have to deal with the bones and carving it in front of your guests. It'll just be ready for them to, to pick at. So, all right. There you have it. So you have your two turkey breasts, your two wings, your quarter section of your thigh and drum, and your drum and thigh. All right, so now that we've broken down our turkey into parts, uh, I'm gonna show you how to plate it uh, as a centerpiece for your dinner. We'll start off with the nice turkey breasts that we did, and you're gonna wanna cut it uh, horizontally to try to keep the skin on. And I like to do about three quarter inch pieces, like nice thick pieces. We'll go ahead and cut through there. Look how nice and juicy this turkey breast turned out. 
All right. So once you slice your, your breast there, we'll go ahead and transfer it to the platter and go ahead and start in the center there. And then we'll do the same thing with the other breast. And the reason why we're starting off with the breast is um, it's the most popular part of the turkey. So you want to have it in the center um, for your guests to, to go for. And I like to use my knife to transfer the meat over. It's kind of a perfect spatula as you're cutting. And now we'll go ahead and take uh, the other parts that we've done. Um, so this piece, I like to put kind of up front. And you can really do it any way you want. Um, I like to kind of keep it um, in a certain way so that it looks like the bird is kind of still together. So, but really you can do it how, however you want. Okay. Now that we've got your turkey nice and carved on the plate, uh, we're gonna go ahead and garnish it with some fresh herbs. Uh, here I have some fresh rosemary and thyme uh, that I picked up from our lovely produce department. And really you can kind of just have fun with this and kind of kind of put it everywhere. And then I also have some wonderful persimmons. And these, and you kind of just split, kind of place however you like there. All right. And there you have it. Nice, beautifully carved turkey centerpiece for your guests. Now you can't have the star without the supporting cast. Included with your meal are fluffy mashed potatoes, delicious cream corn, whipped sweet mashed potatoes, cornbread stuffing, tangy cranberry sauce, savory turkey gravy, and delicious butter flake rolls. So now that we've uh, carved the turkey, we'll go ahead and serve your guests. So we'll grab a couple nice slices here. And I like to place it center of the plate. And then we'll get a little bit of each one of the sides. All right. Look at the beautiful color on this whipped meat mashed potatoes. Stuffing. And then the cranberry sauce you can kind of just put to the side. Some people like it, some people don't. Put a little bit there. And I like to put the gravy right over the top of the turkey and a little bit on the potatoes. We'll finish it off with a beautiful butter flake roll. And there you have it, a perfectly plated meal for your guests. And don't forget, no table is complete without a beautiful flower arrangement from our floral department and a wonderful selection of wines from our wine cellars. I'm Tony Fidang. Corporate Executive Chef. We'll see you next time at Gelson's.